So tell me where you're from. From Belgium. And tell me what brings you here. Why did you travel so far? Uh, to look for answers uh, because of the yeah, Joe, it's now a year and a half, I think, that I really had very tense, uh, what's it called, these muscles, start with ear pain. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then going to the neck, uh, did a lot of sports, did not do sports anymore for like almost a year, I think, because the muscles were always inflamed. So it's fired up. Yeah. We screened you, and we looked at CTs and MRIs, and a bunch of other digital data. It was very objective, we looked at muscle and how teeth come together. Did all that make sense to you? Yeah, I think the good thing here is, first of all, you can sense that it's genuine, but first that you gather all evidence, research, and then objectively make an opinion, educated opinion, which I cannot make, I can think, but uh, yeah. make a while, yes, and then uh, go from there and uh, ask if you want to do the treatment. Eh? So it's not something uh, you're drawn into or some, uh, yeah. how do you say, uh, money-making uh, yeah. BS, sorry for my French, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um, yeah, so I'm... Um, it's, it's, uh, I had a bit of the same problem for something else and uh, that's what gave me the best result to objectively look at what's going on and then uh, yeah. make uh, progress or uh, treatment, yeah. The phrase, it's just good science, decided me to come over. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> so it's been about a day. What's the difference, if any? What do you feel? I can already feel, but yeah, of course, you tend to focus and uh, oh, then my feeling with all the great videos, of course, I want that too. Sure, everybody that, uh, gets, but not everybody gets it. <laughs> no, no, yeah. but I could sense uh, when you were doing it that already the right side started to relax a bit. And then uh, going home in the afternoon, I had a great nap, which I hadn't had for a long time. That was already great. That was unusual. Yeah. Right? And I can sense that when I put my tongue in, normally I think, what, I don't know, what is the vein inside the cheek that is already less tense and I can feel that it's... Yeah, my head is lighting up a bit. Huh? So while you were here, we sent you to a chiropractor that supposedly knows what he's doing because we acknowledge to jointly, you and I both, that you have neck issues. Um, what, did, what did that do for you? Did he open your mind up to something you hadn't heard before back home or not? It's another confirmation of what I already knew but it's nice to have confirmation that posture has always been a problem lately yeah and then uh, but it's yeah the good thing when you have objectively imaging and stuff which I also took x-rays and I could really see that I'm there's something I can work on and of course if this first like uh, uh, step by step you know if this is already okay and I don't have to sleep with a mouth guard anymore and I don't have to worry about that and I can go to the next phase and adjust my posture mm -hmm. which is all oh, it's a good thing and get back into sports but it's finding the right people. I'm very firm, I believe, with finding the right people who can, uh, that yeah. I'm reassured that I get the right treatment and I don't mind yeah. paying if it's the right treatment. So do you have any advice for people in general? What would you tell others? Like in this whole experience, not just coming here, just in general, about TMD or cervical issues. Like you probably have both, you, you definitely have both going on. Yeah. I'm a firm believer of looking for solutions. Huh? Don't give up. Uh, yeah. Keep looking and trust. There was this one lady who said also with the apple, trust your gut feeling. I also believe that is difficult because you have if, if you have a good gut feeling. But if of course if 90%, 97% with a white jacket, doctors say, yeah, but it's not the right stuff, but you still feel something's off, then keep looking. And if you then find the right people and, and you get objectively, and even if it's not winning the lottery, but if stuff, then you know the answer, you know. But also, yes, I watched one of the movies with Dr. Piper, and I loved what I loved. It was interesting what he said that yeah. there's only one part of dentistry where they don't do imaging. Mm -hmm. They're right here. And which is. A <laughs> 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 yeah. Which is, yeah, and that, yeah, that says it. Well, it's, it's medicine, too. Yeah. If, you, if you're skiing, you tear up your knee, they take you to the emergency room. If they're really worried about it, what are they going to order? An MRI. Yeah. Are they just going to take an x ray and let you go? No, they're going to take an MRI because yeah. they have to diagnose the problem. Yeah. They can push and pull and touch and feel all they want, but they got to take an MRI to look at the cartilage and the soft tissue. Yeah. Just looking at bone isn't enough. <clears throat> you, you should look at bone too, but you have to look at soft and hard, bone yeah. and disc. Same thing. So how many MRIs have you had before you got here of your TMJ? None. None. I had one of my neck, but that uh, that nothing to do with the TMJ. And your neck. Yeah. You're right, totally different thing. Yeah. Different anatomy. They're not looking at it. It's not like you can open it up and look at everything. You're looking at neck only. I only had x-rays. So, so nobody even offered an MRI. Is nope. that correct? 
All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>